Three babies are in their mother's womb. One of them says, I want to be an artist so everyone knows what it looks like in here. The next one says, I want to be a swimmer because I get so much practice in here. The last baby says, I'm going to be a hunter because if that snake comes in here and pokes me again, I'm going to chop that thing in half. A patient says, doctor, can I get AIDS from a toilet seat? The doctor replies, yes, but only by sitting down before the last guy gets up. One day, a man and woman were in their bedroom making love. All of a sudden, a bumblebee entered the bedroom window. As the lady parted her legs, the bee entered her vagina. The woman started screaming, Oh my God, help me. There's a bee in my vagina. The husband immediately took her to the local doctor and explained the situation. The doctor thought for a moment and said, Hum, tricky situation. But I have a solution to the problem, if young sir would permit. The husband, being very concerned, agreed that the doctor could use whatever method to get the bee out of his wife's vagina. The doctor said, okay, what I'm going to do is rub some honey over the tip of my penis and insert it into your wife's vagina. When I feel the bee getting closer to the tip of my penis, I shall withdraw it and the bee should hopefully follow my penis out of your wife's vagina. The husband nodded and gave his approval. The lady said, yes, whatever, just get on with it. So the doctor, after covering the tip of his penis with honey, entered the woman. After a few gentle strokes, the doctor said, I don't think the bee has noticed the honey yet. Perhaps I should try further. The lady began to quiver with excitement, moaning aloud. The doctor, concentrating very hard, looked like he was enjoying himself. The husband became very annoyed and shouted, Now wait a minute, what the hell do you think you're doing? The doctor, still concentrating, replied, Change of plan. I'm gonna drown the bastard. Q. Why can't blondes tie shoes? A. They just can't grasp the concept that the long thing goes around the hole, not into it. Q. Why did cavemen drag their women by the hair? Uh, because they found out by dragging them by their legs that their hole would fill up with mud. A super hot chick walks into her church and says to the priest, Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. The priest says, Tell me, dear, what's on your mind? Well, Father, I am a sex addict, and lately I discovered that I like doing it with priests. I had sex with the one from the church, two blocks from here, the one five blocks from here, and also the one from the church nearby. The priest says, It's okay, just pray three times a day for one week, and it will all be okay. As the girl tries to go out, the priest says, Oh, and don't forget that I will always be here for you. A mother comes home from work to find that her kids are hiding behind the couch. She asks what's wrong, and the kids reply that Aunt Sally was in the house naked. So she goes to her bedroom to investigate, and she finds her husband lying on the bed, naked and sweaty. She asks, what's going on? He replies, I'm having a heart attack. She says, I'm going to call 911 while I'm really looking for my sister. She discovers the aunt in the bathroom closet in the nude and gives her a slap. How dare you? My husband is having a heart attack and you're running around scaring the kids. A husband says to his wife, I bet you can't tell me something that will make me both happy and sad at the same time. The wife thinks about it for a few moments and replies, Your dick is bigger than your brother's. Lady 1. Why is your husband so punctual when returning home from work? Lady 2. I made a simple rule. Sex will begin at 9am sharp, whether he is there or not. A sailor drops anchor in a port and heads into the nearest pub. Everyone in the pub is whispering and pointing at him because of his odd-shaped body. He has a very muscular body, but a very tiny head on his shoulders. As he orders his drink, he tells the bartender, I'll explain. I get this in every port in town I visit. 
I caught a mermaid and she granted me three wishes if I would release her back into the sea. So I told her I wanted a yacht and sure enough she came through for me. Next I asked for a million bucks and now I am set for life. Last of all, I asked her if I could have sex with her and her response was, I don't know how you can make love to me with your type of body. So I asked her, how about a little head? Q. Why do bunnies have soft sex? Uh, they have cotton balls. If Thanksgiving is your left leg and Christmas is your right leg, can I visit between the holidays? Two homeless men are devising a plan to get free drinks at a bar. The first one has an idea. We'll buy a hot dog and stick it down your pants, walk into the bar, get our drinks drink, and when the bartender asks for his money, you pull down your pants and I suck on the hot dog that you put down there. He'll kick us out and we won't have to pay. It's brilliant. The second man agrees and they do this in the first bar where it works just as planned. Then they hit up four more bars and the first man says, this is great getting all these free drinks. The other man replies, yeah, especially because the hot dog fell out at the first bar. The difference between like and love is spit and swallow. Q, what did the hurricane say to the palm tree? A, better hold on to your nuts because this is no ordinary blowjob. What does Pinocchio's lover say to him? Lie to me, lie to me. The doc told a guy that masturbating before sex often helped men last longer during the act. The man decided, what the hell, I'll try it. He spent the rest of the day thinking about where to do it before he got home to his wife. He couldn't do it in his office. He thought about the restroom, but that was too open. He considered an alley, but figured that was too unsafe. Finally, he realized his solution. On his way home, he pulled his truck over on the side of the highway. He got out and crawled underneath as if he was examining the truck. Satisfied with the privacy, he undid his pants and started to play with his unit. He closed his eyes and thought of his lover. As he grew closer to the big finish, he felt a quick tug at the bottom of his pants. Not wanting to lose his mental fantasy or the orgasm, he kept his eyes shut and replied, What? He heard. This is the police. What's going on down there? The man replied, I'm checking out the rear axle. It's busted. The cop replied, well, you might as well check your brakes too while you're down there because your truck rolled down the hill five minutes ago. Pedro lives in an orphanage. One day, Pedro is heading towards town with his hands clapped together. When the padre who runs this orphanage asks Pedro, what do you have in your hands and where are you going? Pedro replies, Father, I have horse flies and I am going to town to get horses. Sure enough, later, Pedro comes back with two beautiful Arabians. Next day, Pedro walks past the priest again with the same question. Pedro, what do you have in your hand and where are you going? Pedro replies once again, Father, I have butter and I am going to town to get butterflies. Sure enough, Pedro returns with beautiful monarch butterflies. The very next day, Pedro is headed towards town once again when the priest asks the same question. Pedro, what do you have in your hands and where are you going? Again, Pedro replies, Father, I have pussy willows. Wait, Pedro, says the priest. I'll go with you. <laughs>